Okay, so we finally got the first diverter done. And again, this is the MCOR series with press fit. So, and I guess this video is more for those of you who haven't done this. The first thing I noticed in MCOR, these are the stops. So, of course, they go here. One. And there's two. And it goes in all the way. And of course, these are the things you turn to turn the water off. So I believe that's off when it's vertical and side is uh, off. So the first thing I notice is it has these kind of clips, which is a posi temp thing. Because mowing troll, what well, you know, it's kind of here and here. This was a stop. I'm trying to remember how the mowing troll was. Oh, the mowing troll, this thing was actually a hex nut, and you would screw the whole thing out. It was a baby valve. I forget the, the proper name for it. Posi tent, which was more of a contractor's type deal, because you find them in Home Depot would use these kind. And then even before I flushed it, I flushed it good with water. Before I did anything, I took them out and they had particles on them. So in the instructions, when you get the M core, it tells you to flush it before you do anything. So before I turn any of these valves on down here, I took everything out, put a bucket under it. See, I got my bucket and I let a good half a bucket of water out of each side just in case I had any debris in the line so that's the first thing I noticed they, so it looks like they incorporated features from posi temp and mowing troll so then the next thing I notice is the body comes as this and this is all that's in the body so this is a plastic plug and you turn and then it's got a ring here so I can imagine probably doesn't cost too much to manufacture this piece of plastic and then it also provides a way to test your install so if you didn't use pro press like I did and these come in solder too or well actually they come like this and the inside is the same size so you could solder it so no matter what you used let's see this should stop it And it did. So vertical is off. All right. So now these valves are on. So that means I'm pressurized all the way to this point. And to prove it, all I gotta do is open this. Open this. The next thing I wanna see is the water's gonna come out the shower head, and I'm gonna get my leg out of the tub before I do that. Uh, 
there it went. I can see to this is it's a way to test all your connections the cons I have is years ago you bought this body it had the cartridge it had a finished trim so they've managed to do what I call the bodega move where they sell you the body separate from the cartridge from the trim which gave more options probably a slew more of marketing people to run around to the supply houses, sell different kinds of trim, um, stuff like that. So I guess that's a pro for the company. The pros for us, I see, is if you had a, an experienced installer, I've seen guys solder these with the cartridge in it, even though it says in the instructions uh, to empty the thing before you do anything to it, but who reads those? I know I didn't, but... I had common sense enough to take the valve apart, and on mowing troll, you would take, unscrew these. It was a hex nut, probably 13 millimeters, something like that, 14. And you take the whole valve apart, clean it, solder it. So now, you don't have to do that. So, uh, I guess, again, the pro side is, let's say you're doing 500 bathrooms, and you just give the installer this. You don't have to worry about the cartridges out there getting stolen. I, I guess there are a few good things about it. Uh, the other thing I noticed, uh, read the instructions on MCOR. They're really persistent about <clears throat> the height from the tub and the height from the center of the diverter valve to the head and from the center of the diverter valve to the spout. So read those instructions. Uh, and also they're particular about this pipe for the spout, so you can't do it in PEX. And the reason being, <clears throat> when you turn the tub on to fill the tub, as the tub is filling, water actually goes up this pipe. You may not see it come out here, but it could go third, half, but you may not see it. But one way to find out if you messed up down here is if you turn on the tub to fill the tub from the spout, and you see water start dripping out of the head and the walls closed and tiled, it tells you someone installed this wrong. So those little tips for guys and gals, younger or guy or people who just haven't used MCOR. Uh, I'm just a mowing person for I don't know how many years. Um, but, you know, we've done other stuff, growy and all that. Again, we're not promoting or knocking down any product. But... Seems pretty straightforward. So just wanted to show you that. Ah. And the other thing we got done is we did get the uh, toe touch in. So that's the toe touch for the tub the, and the waste and overflow is ready. This will now get covered until it's tiled. We have one more step which is to put a holder here against the edge so the tub doesn't slide. Under the tub there is tar paper so the styrofoam doesn't make noise. So it's one down. See ya.